Angle set, and we're good to go. Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, it's question and answer time. I promised everyone that I'll do a video answering your questions. So we're going to start off with people on Facebook. So the first question was asked from Ali, Alian Ali, and he's asked if you had to sell one of your cars, what would it be? Well, Alian. I'd probably get rid of the Audi Q7. The reason for that being is that it's just probably the most boring car on my my fleet, and yeah, it, it does everything very very boring. Not like the other 4x4. So yeah, that would be the first 4x4 um, and the first car in general that I would probably get rid of. Uh, the second question was asked from uh, Asama Latif. It was asked. The question asked was, when did you buy your first supercar, and what was it? Well, the first supercar that my father bought was a Ferrari 355 F1 Berlinetta, which is still probably one of my all-time favourite supercars. And I, I remember the day when it first arrived, it was absolutely amazing. And I think he bought that in, 2000, in 1999 or 2000, roughly one of those two years. Um, and the car was then followed by um, a, a brand new Ferrari 360 Spider, which was his second supercar, and then it just went on ever since then. So yeah, the first car, uh, the first supercar um, of ours was the Ferrari 355 Berlinetta F1. Uh, Jabran Talib has asked, what kind of people do you follow back on Twitter? Well, Jabran, interesting people. Okay, who else, who else, who else? Has Khalifa, where do you see yourself in 10 years time? Well, Has, you take every day as it comes. So, you know, obviously everyone would like to be successful, but you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring for you. So, um, we, you know, we take each day as it comes and live life that way and, you know, leave the rest in God's hands and everything should turn out good. What is your favourite car? Asked by Louis Nuttall on Facebook. My favourite car, I don't know if I've already said it a thousand times on Twitter and Facebook and whatnot, but it is the Mercedes G63 AMG, the G-Wagon. That car is absolutely amazing in my eyes. Yeah, I've still got to do the review for it, which is coming up next week. Um, it's, it's just so exciting to drive. It's got a lot of character, very involving whilst you're driving it's not one of them cars that you just drive with your little finger and you know it's it's as easy as that it's, it's got a lot of character to it and, and that's what I love about it and plus it's it's a very retro looking car okay who's next who can say Khatib BFD on Facebook has asked why have you named yourself Lord Ali okay this is the very very controversial question the one that everyone wants to know, why have I named myself Lord Ali? Well, the guys, the simple fact is we have the registration Lord, 1-O-R-D. And when I was coming up for a, a YouTube channel name, I thought I could use that number plate and help that plug my YouTube name. So whenever car spotters were out and they spotted uh, the number plate Lord, they know who it is instantly. So that is the main reason for it. Uh, it's not that I think I'm better than anyone or or oh, I think I'm God, um, that is definitely not the case. Lord is just a title, like Mr, Mrs, Doctor, etc. So, you know, that's what it is. It's very simple. You guys make it extremely complicated for myself and, and for yourselves. Fuad FT on Facebook has asked, which car do you love the most and will be the last car you will sell? The Mercedes G-Wagon. <laughs> uh, when did you start driving from Jabran Talib again? Well, I've answered two of your questions, Jabran. You're having a good day. Um, 17. Passed uh, as soon as my birthday. Over. My birthday's gone. I passed second time, by the way. Uh, failed the first time. Yeah, but you know what they say. All good drivers pass the second time. Elliot James Cooper has asked a very good question on Facebook. He's asked, now that Pet HQ, a pet has moved up, um, with its very own showroom, what do you think is Pet's next big step? Surely more vehicles will require even more space. Do you perhaps see Pet becoming a chain of showrooms across the country or maybe just a second showroom in London? 
as you seem to commute there a lot. Like it says, we take each day as it comes. Pet HQ is being, you know, it's being built in, in Birmingham, not far from you know, Birmingham International Airport, and we will take things from there. Um, but, but yeah, um, there's a lot of things in the pipeline, but uh, I can't reveal too much all too soon. Um, you just have to wait and see. Okay, we're now going to move on to some Twitter questions. Right, asked by Sol Medi uh, underscore Medi. He's asked, "Do you think money will ever change you?" Well, Sol, only my close ones and people that know me will know if money has changed me or not. Um, I don't think it will ever will, and I don't think it has. But um, but yeah, this is what I love cars, and and you know this is what I will. Uh, you know, spend my my money on, and you know what my father loves as well. And you know, we've always loved cars, so yeah, that's you know that's that's what it is. Money, I don't think money will ever change me. But if this looks like money has changed me, then so be it. But money hasn't changed me. I don't think personally, and I'm sure people that know me will agree. Are you going to make YouTube's like forever now? Asked by jokes for now. Uh, yes, I will be updating as regularly as possible. Uh, so yeah, uh, you'll be seeing a lot more of me. Okay. Asked by Billy Watkinson, do you ever think that your life could be any better than it already is? Life's amazing. Life is amazing at the moment. Um, I mean, we are all very fortunate if you are watching this video right now on YouTube, you are in a fortunate position. I mean, you have internet, you have a computer, you more than likely have warmth, you have a house, you have a shelter, and you know, some people don't even have that in the world. So, you know, we're all very lucky and we're all very blessed. And so yeah, life's brilliant at the moment, Alhamdulillah. Okay, and the final question on Twitter is asked from Junaid Ahmed123. And he's asked, how did Pet progress? Uh, can I have a list of cars and the growth, etc.? Pet started in 2006 uh, with one Rolls Royce Phantom, a registration RR56PET. The idea came when we visited the Dorchester Hotel and we saw a chauffeur driven Rolls Royce turn up and all the doors were swinging open with a chauffeur and clients were coming in and it was fantastic. So we brought that idea to Birmingham, bought our first Rolls Royce Phantom. The first year went well, 2007, purchased the second one, 2007 went well, purchased uh, two in 2008, uh, two Rolls Royces from there. Ever since then I've just been constantly adding Rolls Royces to the fleet, um, then we added in 07 the, the Gallardo, um, the, this is not the Gallardo that we added, that one's sold now, it, it, was, a, it was a black on black uh, Gallardo, uh, added an R8 Coupe and, and, and a 430 Spider. Uh, and the fleet just kept on progressing from there onwards. Bought a few 4x4s, Range Rovers, uh, BMW X5, X6, Q7. And then ever since then, I've just been updating the fleet. Um, and that's where that's where we lie, guys, at the moment. And uh, yeah, this is the latest edition, by the way, the Mercedes SLS AMG. So yeah, it's uh, it's been good. Okay, and that's it for now. It's We're done on Twitter, so... Yeah, happy days. And I'm gonna leave you guys with something special.